Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what I have for you is some O'Doul's Premium Non-Alcoholic Beer. Uh, yet again, another uh, classic from my childhood. I remember uh, my dad drinking O'Doul's and Sharps. Last week was Sharps, this week is O'Doul's. Uh, we'll uh, kind of do a little comparison to see what's better. Um, take a closer look. Okay, so... I don't know if I've ever had this. I may have had this sampled it at some point in life, um, but I, I can't recall buying it. So <laughs> uh, anyway, we're gonna see what it's about. Well, initially, right off the bat, it has a lot of similarities with Sharps. Uh, they're both extremely light. I think this might have a little more flavor than uh, the Sharps did last week. Um, but it still has that grainy, sweet finish that I don't care for. I mentioned uh, in the last video as well. Um, while I finish pouring these, why don't you check out what I've got on the beer menu for this weekend. Okay. Welcome back. So, um, as you see, there's lots of great stuff on the uh, list of what I'd like to get down this weekend. Um, the uh, uh, what is the shell splitter um, from uh, Riverlands? I don't know if I'll get to that this weekend. Uh, being a big bomber, I'd like to uh, share that with someone. And if uh, my wife's not interested in it, then I'm gonna have to wait. Um, Revolution, that uh, I don't know, super fantastico cafe death or whatever. Um, I imagine that's just a higher ABV, uh, maybe more coffee stout. I may get to that as well. There's a lot of stuff out there, that's why I say it's uh, kind of up in the air. Um, there was a couple repeats. Uh, the Noon Whistle Papaya Gummy Vortex. Um, I've had that for multiple weeks in a row now, um, as you saw in the uh, little clip. Um, I don't know why that's still at, at uh, still anywhere for sale. It was so good. Um, the only thing I could think of is the price point was a little high at... at uh, $17.99 a four pack, maybe it's just a little pricey. Um, and then that Cosmonaut IPA that they came out with this week, um, it's actually a bigger beer, um, probably similar in style. Uh, they're both IPAs, one's claim, you know, the, the papaya is the uh, Northeast uh, IPA and the other one just says IPA. But anyway, um, I'm assuming that maybe the cost of the papaya drives up the price, whereas the new one that just came out, that Cosmonaut, uh, was only eleven ninety nine a four pack, so maybe price is a little deterrent there. Um, hopefully, it's still drinking really well. Like I said, this is probably my fourth or fifth four pack in the past month or whatever since it's been out. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, um, uh, there's a couple repeats, uh, and then I was able to find that Natterdays uh, vodka. So I actually don't drink vodka really that often. Um, however, my plan is to kind of uh, proof a Natterdays. I'd like to get around to 12% Natterdays and see if I can get it to be just as uh, easily drinkable and uh, retain the flavor without making it boozy and make it 12%. That's kind of like my little goal. So I've been doing some little calculations on how much of what to put put in a cup and uh, I may make a video on that. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this is five O'Doul's. I'm going to try to uh, redeem myself from last weekend's Sharps fail. Um, usually I have no problems finishing these boots, but, you know, my, uh, lately I've been doing big, big chugs, you know, so I've been doing this whole, like, trying to get in shape thing. That means eating less, you're drinking less. So anyway, let's go get it. Cheers. <sighs> It's cold. Oh man. Whew. <laughs> I wanted to quit. My throat was burning. I gotta start letting these sit out for a few minutes uh, <clears throat> before I pour them. Wow. Anyway, it's a lot of cold liquid to go down at one time. Um, I think it's just a coin toss uh, between what's better. Uh, sorry, my voice is a little <laughs> it's like frozen. <clears throat> um, whether it's Sharps or O'Doul's, guys, I, I think it's just a coin toss. I, I don't think I'd buy either one of them again. Um, neither one of them did anything for me. There's a lot of 
really good craft beer NA options out there. So I think uh, I would definitely uh, gravitate towards one of those before buying either of these again. Um, <clears throat> but I'm sure somebody likes drinking them, otherwise they wouldn't still be in business, right? So uh, anyway, uh, that's all I got for this week. So as always, guys, have fun, be safe, chug beers, don't catch the bug. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, and real quick, um, if you are curious about any of the beers you saw in my video as far as the beers I'm having this weekend, uh, I put all the uh, links to the breweries and the beer names in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I try to get back to everybody. Uh, and if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.